if you are a Christian that studied the word and prays, beloved, I'm telling you, you will go far. I didn't hear your amen. amen. I didn't hear your amen. amen. A lot of Christians, when it comes to prophecy, huh, you will see them. But when it comes to the word, you won't see them. But last Sunday, those who came to church, I preached and I said it. That one of the things that will help you to grow in the Lord is the word. The word will help you to grow in the, in the Lord. Hallelujah. And in this same time, one, one of the things that you need to flourish like a palm tree is that you grow in the Lord or you grow in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible said that to be carnally minded is dead, but to, but to be spiritually minded is what? Is peace. Hallelujah. If you want to have peace or attract peace from above, you must be a man of the spirit. Hallelujah. I say you must be a man of what? And the last time I quoted a scripture and I said it, the Bible says that do not be anxious for nothing, but in all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto, unto the Lord. The next verse will tell you, and the peace of God that passes all understanding shall guide your mind and heart through Christ Jesus. The peace of God. The peace of God. What we need in this end time is the peace of God. We need the peace of God. We need the peace of God. We need the peace of God. And you cannot have access to peace in the kingdom of God if you are not a man of prayer. Hallelujah. I say you cannot do what? Have access to peace in the kingdom if you are not a man of prayer or a woman of prayer. Hallelujah. Lift up your two hands and begin to magnify the name of the Lord. Somebody begin to worship him, give him praise. Exhort Ezekiel Abi Hados Kina Mados Zekete Labros Kenemi Hados Kelele Bados Zekete Rekete Balalabados Zekete Bihata Ikuzandi Hados Kina Mados Kina Mados Zekete A Labros Kenemi Hados Zeken de Behata Abia Kabaya Kabaya Badabos Zekete Belebe Makos Zikida Bros Zeken de Biados Kete Brados Zekete Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Magnify the ancients of this. Somebody thank him. Somebody thank him. La zukele brados kene mi hados kene mi hatai. La ba 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 us kene mi hados kina madol zakadi hatai. La ziakos zekini hados kina madol skepedi hatai. Ma kos zene mi hados kila bros zekele be halos shekete. Los Yakumba diados celebra dos jekete bala hados keni hatai. Hey, masuni mi kados kene me hados shekete. Les Yakus abende diados kela bos jaka yabada bada bada. Rake dos zakula bros kene me hados jekele behasatai. Makabados ki bendi akadoshe. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Makos kele behate. I want you to lift up your two hands and pray and tell him that Father, this evening I want to have an encounter with you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Father, I want to have an encounter with you. Father, I want to have an encounter with you. Somebody open your mouth and pray. I want to have an encounter with you this evening. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want to have an encounter with you through your word. I want to have an encounter with you through prayers. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice and pray. Somebody, Makala Baskuri Bihatos, Jekete Bahatai, Labroski Namadas Zinami Hados, Celebrado, Jekete Behatai, Ikunde de Behados, Kinamado, Jekete Bayabaha, Lazunimi Calabrado, Jekete Brados, Kinamado, Zehe. Oh, Jesus, we thank you in the name of Jesus, Amen. Somebody clap for Jesus. Oh, do it better for Jesus. Do it better for Jesus. Oh, do it better for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I can't hear your voice. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You know, Frederick, I've preached to chairs, uh, chairs before. Oh, yes. One day I went to the forest and I preached the word. I preached there when no one was there. I was preaching. No one was there. So I'm used to certain things. Hallelujah. Amen. When they come to church, we will preach. When they don't come, we will preach. 
Oh, yes. Huh? Some pastors, when members are not in the auditorium, they can't preach, they can't flow. But I'm not like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are coming to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. I can't hear you. Are you ready to pray? Yes. Hallelujah. Put your ten fingers together for Jesus. <laughs> Amen. 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 This year is our year of divine encounter. Divine encounter. Frederick, I'm still having an encounter with God. Amen. I say, I'm still hot. Having an encounter with God. I don't know about you, but in these 14 days, I am believing God for more encounters. Hallelujah. I say, I'm believing God for what? More encounters. I'm believing God for more encounters. And I pray that you also have an encounter with Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Divine encounter. Divine encounter. I know a lot of people want to have an encounter with God. Last week, I preached and I, I gave a lot of um, keys that will help you to have an encounter with God. And some of the benefits that you will attract when you have an encounter with God. Some of the benefits that you will attract when you have an encounter with God. Beloved, it is so powerful or it is sweet to have an encounter with God. I say it is what? It is sweet to have an encounter with God. It is sweet. You cannot have an encounter with God and remain the same. When you have an encounter with God, your level will change. Your destiny will change. Are you here with me, somebody? When you have an encounter with him, beloved, something will change in your life. Something unique will locate you when you have an encounter with him. Hallelujah. And today we are coming to pray that Father, help me. You will pray that Father, help me to walk in the spirit. Because listen to me, I know a lot of people want to walk in, have an encounter with God. But listen to me, one of the keys that will help you to have an encounter with God is that you walk in the spirit. Is that you do what? Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. If you don't walk in the spirit, you will not have an encounter with God. You will not have an encounter with God. You will not have an encounter with God if you are not walking in the spirit. The Bible said that walk in the spirit that you will not gratify the things of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. You see, one of the reasons why you must walk in the spirit to have an encounter with God is that the God you want to have an encounter with, beloved, listen to me, the God you want to, you want to have an encounter with, he is spirit. I say God is what? God is spirit. So it means the flesh cannot have an encounter with the spirit. It is not possible. It is not possible. The flesh cannot have an encounter with the spirit. It is only those who are in the spirit who have an encounter with the spirit of God. Are you here with me, somebody? So the Bible said that Isaiah says, that I was in the spirit when I heard the voice of God. I was in the spirit when I heard the voice of God. If you are a carnal person, you cannot have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. If you are a carnal person, and beloved, that is the reason why you must always walk in the spirit. You must always walk in the spirit. The last time I said it, I was in the spirit. I was in hundred days fasting and prayers when I had an encounter with God. The God that we are serving, beloved, God is spirit. The Bible said that God is spirit. So those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Beloved, listen to me. Your, 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 your flesh cannot communicate with the spirit. It is only your spirit that communi can, can, can communicate with the spirit. Are you here with me, somebody? I say it is only what? Your spirit that can communicate with the spirit. It's only your spirit. So man is made up of, made up of what? Body, soul, and spirit. God gave his spirit or God breathed his spirit into you so that he can communicate with you. So that he can do what? Communicate with you. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. You give me that scripture. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. We will pray very soon. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. The Bible said, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. 
the breath of life. The word breath in that context means spirit. So in other words, God breathed into his nostrils the spirit of life. The spirit of God is also called the spirit of life. So God breathed the spirit of life into man and man became a living soul. God breathed the spirit of man into us so that he can communicate with our spirit. Are you here with me, somebody? And that is the reason why those who are too carnal, they would, they, those who are carnal, they, they cannot understand the things of the spirit. Oh yes, if you are carnal, you cannot understand the spirit, the things of the spirit in the spirit to understand the things of the spirit. Are you here with me, somebody? And listen to me, beloved. For a man to understand the scripture, you must be in the spirit. Because the one who explained or translate the scripture to you, his spirit. His spirit. He's not, he's, he's not a man, he's a spirit. The Bible says all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. I think in the book of um, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Give it to me if I'm correct. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Huh. Yes, 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 yes. He said, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God. The word inspiration in that context means breath. So Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, and God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. The word breath also means inspiration. Inspiration, it means one wind. The word inspiration or breath means one wind. It also means spirit. So the Bible said that, and the Lord God, please go back, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy. All scripture is given by the spirit of God. All scripture is given by the spirit of God. So for a man to understand the scripture, for a man to understand the scripture, then that person must be in the spirit. Or if you want the Holy Spirit to translate or help you to understand the scripture, beloved, you must be in the spirit. You must be in the spirit. So some people can take the scripture. They will read it like reading um, graphic or storybook. They will not understand it. But a man of the spirit can take the scripture. One quotation, beloved, you will have a lot of revelation. Makundi Yata, he will attract a lot of revelation. Beloved, for a man to see vision, you must be in the spirit. You must be in the spirit. You must be in the spirit. Sometimes when you come to church, you see God, God will use us to prophesy. Beloved, if you are walking in the flesh, we cannot prophesy. But if you are walking in the spirit, we can see visions. We can see the things of the spirit and prophesy. Are you here with me, somebody? Oh, yes. Sometimes I'll be standing here and some I'm in the spirit. I am in the spirit. If you're in the spirit, you will easily hear the voice of God. Your God is not a man. Your God is a, is, is a spirit. Your God is a spirit. So the last time I said it here, if a, if a dog is barking, man cannot understand what the dog is saying. Are you here with me, somebody? It is man that communicates with man and it is spirit that communicates with spirit. So if you want to understand or if you want to hear the voice of the spirit, beloved, you must be in the spirit. You must be in the spirit. A lot of people sometimes eh, say, I want to hear the voice of God. I want to hear the voice of God. I want to hear the voice of God. Now listen to me. As I'm talking to you now, God is speaking to some people. God is communicating with some people. Some people are hearing the voice of God. And some people are there. They cannot hear the voice of God. I am telling you. Some people are hearing the voice of God as I'm talking to you now. Some people are hearing the voice. They are hearing the voice of God. God is ministering to some people as I'm talking to you. He's communicating with some people. Do this. Don't do this. Do this. Take this step. Don't take that step. Do this. Some people are enjoying the voice of God. Some people are enjoying the voice of God. Just, just, they cannot hear the voice of God. The last time I preached and I said it, even some pastors cannot hear the voice of God. They will take microphone and, and, and they will say that, that says a lot of folks. They are lying. They are lying. They cannot hear the voice of God. They cannot hear the voice of God. The generals in the Bible, beloved, they, all of them heard the voice of God. Though. All of them heard the voice of God. The generals in the Bible. Beloved, we see one of the keys that will help a man to hear the voice of God is that the, that person will spend time and study the word. 
Because God is the word and the word is God. Are you here with me, somebody? One day I listened to one great man of God. His name is Apostle um, um, John, um, John Sin Suleiman. He said, if you cannot hear God, read God and speak for God. If you cannot hear God, read God. When you read the Bible, you are reading Him. You are learning about God. And you can speak for him. Are you here with me, somebody? For example, I can stand in front of you. And I can quote the scripture. Um, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you. Say yes, the Lord plans to prosper you. And not to harm you. Plans to give you future and hope. Ah, plans to give you what? Future and hope. NIV version. NIV. NIV. NIV version. For I know the plans I have for you. Declares the Lord. So it's God who is saying, who is speaking. It's no man. So you can, you can read God and speak for him. So if you want to hear, you see one of the fastest ways to hear the voice of God is when you read the word of God and you meditate on the word. When you read the word and you begin to meditate, beloved, you begin to hear the voice of God. One of them, Adiba Kwe, born me to me now, me catch a revelation. I'm to me understanding the scripture. It's when I read the scripture and I begin to meditate. You see, once you are meditating, beloved, the spirit of God, because he is the one who gave us the scripture, he will help you to understand and catch revelation in that scripture. Amen. You really understand what I said? <laughs> oh, yes. So if you want to have an encounter with God, beloved, Listen to me. If you are too canna, if you are too canna, if you are too canna, you cannot have an encounter with God. Study the Bible and see. Study the Bible and see. Those who had an encounter with God, they were men of the spirit. Men of what? Men of the spirit. Those who had an encounter with God, they were men of the spirit. Moses had an encounter with God. Ha, Yakuzi Hatai. On Mount Sinai, the man was in 40 days and 40 nights. He was in the spirit. He was in the spirit. And he had an encounter. He had an encounter with God. Beloved, you cannot have an encounter with God if you are, if, if, if you are Kana. You cannot. You cannot. And listen to me, what you did in the same time to, 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 to experience a change of level or to move forward in life or fly high in life is that, beloved, you have an encounter with him. Amen. Have an encounter with God. Beloved, you don't, you don't need men in your life. You need God in your life. Are you here with me, someone? I said you don't need what? You don't need men in your life. You need God in your life. You need God in your life. You don't need men. You need God. You need God. Every day you go to someone and discuss your issues with the person. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. I'm going through this. Sometimes they'll give you evil advice. Sometimes they'll give you, they'll give you good advice. Beloved, listen to me. Don't talk to men again. Talk to God. You don't, need, you, know, you don't need to have an encounter with men again. You need to have an encounter with God. Beloved, listen to me. If you want God to connect you to great men, to experience a change of level, first you must have an encounter with him. Because when you connect yourself, you can be disconnected. But when God connects you, beloved, you fly high. Amen. You fly high. When you connect yourself, you'll be disconnected. You can be disconnected. But when God connects you, beloved, nobody on this earth can disconnect you. Amen. Oh, yes. The last time I preached and I said it, God has anointed men because of men. God has anointed men because of men. And for you to have an encounter with those people, you must first have an encounter with God. I say you must first do what? Have an encounter with God. Have an encounter with God. The last time I quoted that scripture, so on his way to Damascus, had an encounter with Jesus. He said, who are you? He said, I am Jesus, the one we are persecuting. So the man had an encounter with Jesus on his way to Damascus. He had an encounter with Jesus and Jesus connected him to a man that he has anointed called Ananias. Hey. So when you have an encounter with God, God will connect you to great men. And when you, when, when you surround yourself with great men, beloved, I am telling you, you will fly high. You will do exploits in your journey of life. You will do exploits. Beloved, listen to me. Listen to me. Canality, eh? Canality will destroy your destiny. 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 It will destroy your destiny. Learn to walk in the spirit. 
the, the, the one you want to have an encounter with, beloved, he is spirit. He is spirit. He is not a man. He is a spirit. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And beloved, what shows that a man is walking in the spirit is that that person always takes it away. And that person always stand on the altar of prayer. When you pray and study the word, it's an indication that you are walking in the spirit. And when you do these two things, beloved, you will have an encounter with Jehovah Jireh. You have an encounter with God. Listen. Listen. The system is, is hard. And everyone is doing something. Eh? Or everyone is pushing. Everyone is pushing to make it. Beloved, you can push. But when you push and you don't have him, I am telling you, push, but at the end of the day, you will not see anything. Oh, yes. A lot of people are still pushing. I want to make it. I want to do exploits. Beloved, if you are pushing and he, you don't have him, I am telling you, you will not reach anywhere. You will not reach anywhere. So spend time and study the way. Spend time and pray. Spend time. Study the way. Spend time and pray. Acts chapter 6 verse 4. Apostle Paul says that we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. These two things. The last time I told you is Acts chapter 6. Yeah. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Apostle Paul was a man of prayer. He was a man of the word. And if you're a man of prayer, you're a man of, of the word, beloved. It should it say you are walking in the spirit. You are walking in the spirit. You are walking in the spirit. Listen to me. One day I listened to one great man called Billy Graham. The man is dead. He said something. He said, if I am a youth, eh, I will preach less and I will pray more and study the word. He said it at the age of 60 something. He said, from a youth, he was talking to I'm, 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 I'm the youth. He said, if I am a youth, I will pray more and study the more. Uh, I was and study the way. He said, I will preach less. This generation, a lot of people want to preach, perform miracles, but beloved, they don't want to spend time and study the way. They want to they don't want to spend time and, and pray to God. Beloved, listen to me. The last time I said, even the God that we are serving, God is still praying. God is still praying. Listen to me. One of the keys that will help you to fly high, one of the keys that will help you to do exploits, beloved, is prayer. If you're a prayerless person, beloved, put in mind that you will not reach anywhere in your journey of life. You will not reach anywhere. You will not reach anywhere. Beloved, the Bible, hey, listen to me. I know you have a lot of plans. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to achieve this. I want to do this. I want to achieve this. But beloved, listen to me. If you don't present your plans to God and you use your strength, at the end of the day, you will fail. But when you present your, your plans to God, beloved, and speak in the Holy Ghost, when you pray continuously and you present your plans, to God, I am telling you by the time you will realize, beloved, the Holy Ghost will help you to achieve everything. He will help you to achieve everything. Don't just write, number one, I will do this. Number two, I will do this. Number three, I will do this. Beloved, it is good to have plans. It is good to put things down. But if you put things down and beloved, use your strength, you will fail. So the Bible said that by strength shall no man prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. You want your strength? You want to use your strength? You fail. You fail. You fail. Learn to walk in the spirit. Spend time study the word. Study the word. Study the word. Pray more and study the word. Pray more and study the word. Pray more and study the word. It will help you. It will help you. Stop talking to men and talk to God. Stop talking to men. You want to have an encounter with God. You always eat. You eat three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, supper, every day. Every day. Every day. You eat three times. How can you have an encounter with God? How? We will organize fasting and prayers. You will start. You will stop. Sometimes you will not break your fast six. Sometimes four. Sometimes two. Sometimes one. If you are not disciplined, you cannot have an encounter with God. If you are not disciplined, if you are not disciplined, I'm telling you, beloved, you cannot have an encounter if you are not disciplined. 
You cannot. You cannot. When it comes to fasting, when it comes to prayer, beloved, you can give excuses. Oh, my rape. My, oh, I have stomach ulcer. I have this, beloved. All these things are preventing you from having an encounter with God. If you can discipline yourself, beloved, and overcome those things, beloved, by the time you realize, you will see that you are talking to your maker and you are hearing the voice of God. I'm telling you. Every day this, tomorrow this, I was tired. I was tired. I was tired. Sometimes, eh, I think last year, yeah, yeah, 50 days, someone called me and said, Apostle, today they are weak. I am weak. I am hungry. I want to eat. I can't pray with him at all for me. You should pray me. Study the Bible and see. Jesus fasted 40 days and 49. The Bible said that Jesus was hungry. God cannot be hungry. It is man that will be hungry. Man cannot be hungry. It means God. So when you are fasting, beloved, you, you, you will feel something. You will feel something in your body. You feel something. The Bible said that Jesus Christ was hungry. I think look, 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 chapter 4. Look, chapter 4. Look, chapter 4. Look, chapter 4. When you count down, you see it. He was hungry. He was hungry. So when you're fasting and you're hungry, that doesn't mean you should break your fast. Doesn't mean you should do what? Break your fast. Doesn't mean you should do what? Break your fast. Break your fast. Oh, today dear, I'm tired. Let me break. At two. So two, you break your fast. You are not you are, you are not a disciplined person. You are not a disciplined person and you cannot have an encounter with God. Last year, during the 50 days, I did drive fast. Eh? One day I was driving and I said, and then the first time I said, Oh, BC, me you see me too. Let me experience it in my life. Last year I experienced it. Me you see me too. Let me to me yes. Sometimes I'll be preaching, not me, me what dry move, but the church need break it says, says. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Me who say yes, the be told me so. But I'm a catcher me who say, me break it dry me this time. I will not allow the devil to stop me. Because when I end it well, I will receive something from above. Amen. Oh yes, I will receive something from above. If you're not a disciplined person, you cannot have an encounter with God. It takes discipline for a man to fast. It takes discipline for a man to pray. It takes discipline for a man to study the word. Study the word. When it's time to pray, you will not let people to distract you. You will not allow people to distract you. When it's time for you to enter into his presence. Oh yes, today, Obed came to me, right? He came to me. He unlocked your papa, papa. Me being in the room, I'm so okay. I'm coming to pray when I'm done. Am I lying? I locked myself and I prayed. Kabaro zakete, lozi akunde behete. Because at a time, I must say, Bishop called me in the morning that you want to come and see me. I told him my prayer time is up. I have to discipline myself. My prayer time is up. My prayer time is up. I told him. He's the one standing there. I told him my prayer time is up. My prayer time is up. You don't have a, a prayer time. You call yourself a child of God. You don't have a prayer. Even Muslims, they have prayer times. The time they pray. And Muslims, when their time is up to pray, and you go to them, you want to go and buy, they will tell you, wait, I'm going to pray. But Christians, they will spend time and say, ah, you many time apart. how can you have an encounter with God if you are not a disciplined person? I'm telling you, I listened to a man of God. He said he went to Dubai. Dubai is um, an Islamic country, right? Islamic country. He went to Dubai. The man of God said he went to Dubai. And he went to a shop to buy something. But shop attendance, let me tell him. He told the man of God, my time is up to pray. If you can wait, wait. If you cannot wait, go. He told the pastor, my time is up to pray. If you cannot wait, please go. If you can wait, then I'm going to pray. When I come, I'll say, The man of God said, Muslim But Christians in this end time, when our time is up to pray, Satan is business. Our time is up to pray. And yet, the young man first when they saw, How can you have an encounter with God? Look at Muslims, most of them are flourishing. They are flourishing. They are flourishing. They are doing great things. 
But Christians, we are still here. We are not doing anything. And every day we will declare, God will do it. Those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do explain. What shows that you know the God you are serving? If you know the God that you are serving, you'll be disciplined. Because listen to me, the God that you are serving is a disciplined God. I say, it's what? It's a disciplined God. So the Bible said, that, do, things, or said do things decently. Do, it said, do things decently and in order. Do things what? Set that scripture for me. He said, discipline God. The God that we are serving is a disciplined God. If you cannot discipline yourself, beloved, you cannot have an encounter with him. You cannot. You cannot. You cannot. Send that scripture for me. You cannot have an encounter with him. Every day, this. Tomorrow, this. It's time to pray. Say, no, today I want to do this. I have to do this. I have to do this. No, 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 beloved. If time is up to enter into his presence, don't allow men to distract you. Go into his presence and talk to him because that is the only thing that can transform your life. That is the only thing. He said, let us, he said, let all things be done decently and in order, in order, in order, in order. Beloved, listen to me. In your journey of life, if you want to flourish, you must have rules that governs your life. I say you must have what? Rules that govern what? Your life. Oh yes. You must have rules. Rules. 6.30 p.m. I'll be in the presence of God. By 9, I will, I, 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 I will leave his presence. By 10, I have to hold my Bible and have to read or study the word. You have to do things decently and in order. When you do that, beloved, you will flourish. You will flourish. If you are not a disciplined person, eh, anyone can come to you at any time and disturb your life. People will come to you. Please, can you? Eh, I want, I, I'm going to say, can you go with me? Because you are not a disciplined person. Hey, hey, you don't have any rule that govern your life, beloved. You just follow the person and go. I am telling you. When you spend the whole day. Because one casa wabra, but you don't have plans for your life. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. Listen to me. We all have 365 days in a year. What you do with your 365 days in a year will determine what you receive at the end of the day. You spend your time on unnecessary things. You sit down, you chat, you visit your friends. Listen to me. Abrabo we yo and your visitation go on. Hey, I was so tenacious now to me plan with life. Now who said I dear me ye a koswana and koso and never poow. Not the be out sorry ya and the animal jimu did we ya when him say what we throw any time the akojami hano de china will call. You will not make it. You will not make it. You have to be disciplined. You have to be what? Discipline, discipline yourself. Discipline yourself. A human who you know discipline person, you will not flourish in that business. You will not. You do not do what flourish in that business. Muslims they wake up early in the morning. They go and open their shops. But a lot of Christians, beloved, there is time for everything under the sun. There is time for everything. There is time for everything. The time you must go and open, beloved, your shop. Don't use that time to pray. The time you, 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 you do what? You, you have to go and open your shop. Don't use that time to gossip. Go and open your shop. Because you don't know what God is bringing to you that day. Muslims and unbelievers, beloved, they wake up early in the morning and they run to their shop and open the shop. Hey, you only... Who share contractors and I'm on Tadia, you're on Tadia no Patu too, and come out workers on site no Maya Juma. It work will be a shop bears at nine, I could be a shop bears at ten. Contract at the ton, you may be millions at the amount of Yasini and more flourishing, but you a child of God who will goose and will shop him, but he and Paul was sorry, I was a human in Koso. It is your attitude that is, is, is affecting you. It is your attitude that is what affecting you. It is your attitude. This is your attitude. You have to discipline yourself this year. Discipline yourself. I'm telling you, discipline yourself. If you're not the disciplined person, you cannot work in the spirit. You cannot. You cannot. If you're a child of God and you don't have a prayer life, <laughs> you are not serving God. The last time I told you, I had an encounter with God. I had an encounter. I was preaching to a multitude of people. Preaching. 
And in the message, I said it. That God ministered to me. He said, will you preach my word? I said, yes. Will you? I'm, 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 I'm leading my people to pray. I said, yes. He said, if you will do this, then my people will experience my power. It means what God is expecting from every believer is that we will spend quality time in his presence. We will pray and we will study his word. This is what God is expecting from everyone. If you cannot do these two things, you are joking. You are joking. It's time to pray. I'm going to do this. My friend has called me. I'm going to do this. You are not disciplined. Tell your friend that I'm going to pray. When I'm done, I will attend to you. I will attend to you. One thing about Frederick is that if I'm praying and you are bringing one million dollars, I will ask you to wait because my God is precious than one million dollars. He's greater than one million dollars. I'm telling you, he's greater than that money. He's greater. He's greater than one, that one million dollars. Spend time in his presence. Pray more. Study the word. Fast more. It will transform your life. It will transform your life. You think some people are not here. Yesterday, say, a lot of people came to church because of prophecy. Today, where are they? Where are they? they are, some, some of them are prophetic Christians because Tuesdays are prophetic and deliverance service. So they come every Tuesday to listen to, to, to the voice of God. Matiwe, Matiwe, Matiwe. And I'm not generation. I'm not Matiwe, Matiwe, Matiwe. My mom, men of God, be bring you so much in the casa. Yesterday, I, by the grace of God, I prophesied to only three people. Oh, three people. Three people. We worship him. We give him praise. We magnify him. After that, that God ministered. He said, let my people worship me. Let my people praise me. You, you, you know, I, because your time we saw, I prophesied to only three men, um, three people. And we closed the service. Yesterday after the service, I was, I was happy in my spirit. I was happy. I was happy. Beloved, men far and come shen to chen listen to me this thing I'm giving to you my beloved if you work with them I'm telling you your life will change your life will change if you work with the message I'm preaching your life will change your life will change this year I will not force anyone I will not force anyone if you come and pray come and pray if you will not pray fine stay at home eat drink I know you will come to me that my, my head, my stomach, I'm still single. And I will tell you, you are not disciplined. This year, I will use that word for a lot of people. You are not disciplined. You are not disciplined. The church will organize fasting and prayers. A lot of people will be in the house. They will be eating some people. As I'm talking to you, my beloved, some, some people are watching, um, 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 what, 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 is, what is the latest movie? My friend is saying, huh? Every year, no, Telly, Novera. Every year, and one of that. Someone is watching it right now. As I'm talking to you. We be cut telephone. We shake it, 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 it. A series. On person be messy back on po. On person be messy series back on po. On person be messy. Let me bring every day. Every time you pray, no dimrika, no tanudi. I'm missing you. I'm missing. Most of the ladies and most of the guys, because you're more fun, so yeah. See, we say guso. I'm best of them. Missing. What she need? Missing. Hey, train. I'm not going to go from all train there. The the next way, nebeko. What to what train? I'm best of them. Missing. But listen to me. When you miss those series, eh, you can still make it. But when you miss God or when you miss Jesus, you will be frustrated in life. You will be frustrated. She. Master, and never take a bold decision. Sometimes you say, listen, let me tell you one thing. His presence. Download what? Ideas from his presence. In his presence, you, I, you will download ideas. Anytime I'm praying, then you may drop it. Then you may drop it. And then you may drop it. And I'm saying, no, I have to do this. I have to do this. I have to do that. Because, oh, bomb penya, go pong, be in your mouth, or be in your mouth, and chin your mouth. If you're a man of prayer, stand to your feet. 
Stand to your feet.